Hey everyone, and welcome back to our NREMT paramedic exam prep show. These 30 practice questions cover a selection of content on trauma. For hundreds of more questions like these, make sure you get Brainscape's NREMT paramedic flashcards. Okay, let's get started. Question one, list the possible injury patterns of side or lateral impact. Fractured hip, clavicle, humerus, ribs, cervical spine, lacerations, contusions, and brain injury. Question two, what determines the severity of a stab wound? Anatomic area, depth, length, and angle. Question three, what are the capabilities of a level four trauma center? Basic emergency and advanced trauma life support before the patient is transferred to a higher care facility. Question four, what is blood composed of? 55% plasma, 45% red blood cells, and 1% white blood cells and platelets. Question five, what is perfusion? The circulation of blood to meet an organ or tissue's oxygen demand. Question six, name the three classes of hemorrhagic shock. Compensated, decompensated, and irreversible. Question seven, what are the three layers of the skin? Epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous. Question eight, what condition can result from a crush injury? Compartment syndrome, in which anaerobic metabolism occurs because arterial flow and oxygenated blood are cut off, creating pyruvic acid. Question nine, what is necrotizing fasciitis? Necrotizing fasciitis is a bacterial infection that causes the rapid death of tissue. Question 10, what treatment is recommended for impaled objects? Do not remove the object, control the bleeding with compression, do not shorten the object unless cumbersome, and stabilize with bulky dressing and immobilize if possible. Question 11, what is the treatment for a skin avulsion? Clean and irrigate the avulsed tissue, place back in an atomic position and cover with dry sterile dressing. Question 12, what is a full thickness burn? A burn through both the epidermis and dermis. Question 13, list five examples of bases and alkalis that can cause chemical burns. Potassium, hydroxide, lime, drain cleaner, and lye. Question 14, what are the signs and symptoms of partial thickness burns? Blisters, redness, and pain. Question 15, what substance is the anterior chamber of the eye filled with? Aqueous humor, a clear watery fluid between the lens and the cornea. If you're loving the challenge I've set you with these practice questions, You'll find thousands more with illustrations in Brainscape's adaptive mobile flashcards for the NREMT paramedic exam. Make sure you download those so that you can efficiently study anytime, anywhere, and crush the NREMT exam. Let's get back to answering more questions. Question 16. Which cervical vertebrae is responsible for the diaphragm and breathing of a patient? C5 keeps the diaphragm alive. Question 17, what is hyphema? Hyphema refers to bleeding into the anterior chamber of the eye. Question 18, what is dysphagia? Difficulty swallowing. Question 19, what is the foramen magnum? The large opening at the base of the skull where the brain connects to the spinal cord. Question 20, what is the function of the brain's frontal lobe? The frontal lobe controls the body's voluntary motor actions and emotions. Question 21, how many pairs of spinal nerves are there? 
there are 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Question 22. What are the indications for basilar skull fracture? Cerebrospinal fluid drainage, raccoon eyes, and battle signs, which are bruising over the mastoid process. These may show up 24 hours after injury. Question 23. What are the signs and symptoms of a subdural hematoma? Slurred speech and unilateral hemiparesis or one-sided muscle weakness. Venous bleeding can take longer to show signs and symptoms. Question 24. What are the signs and symptoms of posterior cord syndrome? The loss of sensation to light, vibration, and perception of one's body. Question 25. What is the treatment for evisceration? Do not place the organs back in the abdominal cavity. Instead, cover the exposed organs with a saline-soaked dressing. Question 26. What are the suspicions for a liver injury? Acute right upper quadrant trauma, right-sided chest trauma, fracture to the seventh and ninth ribs, and sudden deceleration forces. Question 27. What are the signs and symptoms of peritonitis, inflammation of the lining of the abdomen? Guarding, tenderness, and pain during movement. Question 28. What are the six fracture classifications? Transverse, spiral, oblique, comminuted, green stick, and compression. Question 29. What is crepitus? Crepitus refers to the sensation or sounds of crunching during palpation, usually experienced as clicking, cracking, creaking, crunching, grating, or popping. Question 30. What is the treatment for a mid-shaft humerus fracture? Longitudinal traction, if there is a compromised PMS, splint the joint above and the joint below, and sling and swathe the arm to the chest. That's the end of our exam prep show on trauma. To reach full mastery, keep studying for the NREMT paramedic exam in Brainscape, which has thousands more flashcards with imagery and a spaced repetition algorithm that'll dramatically speed up your learning and knowledge retention. Of course, when you're driving, exercising, cooking, or otherwise unable to navigate the app, be sure to keep listening to the rest of these episodes and check out the NREMT paramedic exam prep podcast to rise to your challenge.